Hey there, and welcome back for yet another adventure. In Kenya, there are a variety of activities, some of which include animals of all shapes and sizes. So let's hop right into our first activity. Go on a volcano adventure at Erda El, Ethiopia. The Erda El is one of only a few active volcanoes on the planet. The lava lake surrounding it is a spectacle in itself as vibrant colors mix together to create a scene unlike any other. Visitors can spend up to three days and two nights exploring the summit of Erda El. Definitely a must add to your bucket list in Kenya. Now, time to gallop alongside migrating zebra and wildebeest. You don't get a better front row seat to one of the world's greatest wildlife spectacles than this. From your saddle, you'll be side by side with wildebeest and zebra in Kenya's famous Maasai Mara with an adventure mobile. The pace is fast and exhilarating, alive with the sound of thousands of thundering hooves pounding at the sand. An experience you simply couldn't recreate anywhere else and clearly one that'll get your pulse racing. Next up, take a dip in the Devil's Pool. Swimming in the Devil's Pool in the world's largest waterfall has to be at the top of the list for adrenaline junkies visiting Africa. The natural pool is formed by a protruding rock lip which ensures visitors don't topple over the edge. There's definitely an element of danger as in any adrenaline pumping activity, but at the same time, it's one of the most amazing experiences you could ever have. Alright, when in Kenya, you have to sandboard on some of the world's tallest dunes in Namibia. Namibia hosts some of the tallest sand dunes on the planet, and sandboarding down them is potentially the most fun you can have in a desert. First timers are definitely welcome and the action itself is quite similar to snowboarding. Tours can be booked through Desert Explorers and the tour itself lasts approximately 3 hours and includes a light lunch as well as transportation. For a nice night's rest, sleep beneath the stars. Watch the Milky Way move across the night sky at Loisaba until the sun rises over the horizon for nature's finest wake-up call. And there is no better way than to experience this then to camp under the stars. Start your solo adventure or grab your travel companions and get your gear ready for the best morning view you could have. For our next activity, it's always exciting to run wild. The Safari Com Marathon is your chance to pit yourself against Kenya's best runners in this challenging race, which snakes through the Lewak Wildlife Conservancy over rolling plains and alongside free roaming beasts. A true test of the ultimate adrenaline junkies, the event has raised millions for Tusk and the Lewa Wildlife Conservancy since it started in 2000. The race takes place every year in June and books fast, so be sure to put this on your bucket list soon. For a typical adrenaline pumping activity, hop on quad bikes and buggies. Join Quad Kenya for the adventure of a lifetime as you traverse Laikipia's rugged terrain on a buggy or quad bike exploring the off-the-beaten tracks where few tourists have ventured before. Similar to the other activities mentioned before, chances are you'll run into a few animals here and there, so keep your eyes peeled. Now, if quad biking doesn't interest you, then go mountain biking. Not only can you quad bike in Kenya, but mountain biking is a very popular activity as well. Go wherever your wheels take you and explore Kenya's rugged Lake Hippio region on a mountain bike. Whether you stay on the flat or go up the steepest of hills, it's all up to you. For the extreme adrenaline junkies, climb Mount Kenya. For the truly experienced and unstoppable adrenaline seekers, try to ascend Mount Kenya, one of Africa's highest mountains. Marvel at the landscape as you climb as it changes from flat tops to rolling foothills to jagged peaks. A can't miss in Kenya is having breakfast with the giraffes. One of the most famous attractions in Kenya, it's not every day you get to share your toast with a 4.6 meter tall giraffe poking his head in through a window. This is the norm at Giraffe Manor. Decide what part of your breakfast you want to eat before the giraffe takes it from your plate. Definitely experience we can guarantee you won't find anywhere else. For yet another activity, let's river raft down Zambia. Whether you spend a day or four on your trip, rafting down the Zambezi ends up being as exciting as it sounds. During the day, visitors will experience the best rapids the river has to offer 
while overnight visitors spend evenings relaxing next to the campfire and stargazing. So whether you're a thrill seeker or more of the relaxing type, there is something for everyone. Next up, another crazy adventure. Swimming with whale sharks in Mozambique. Although this can be found in other areas of the world, Tofo in Mozambique is one of the best spots to find whale sharks. These massive fish grow between 4.5 and 6 meters or 15 to 20 feet in length. Diving with these giants feels almost outworldly and is sure to top the list of your most memorable travel experiences. For a short detour, explore Reunion Island. Only a four-hour flight from Johannesburg, this tranquil island is quickly appearing on tourist radars, so it's best to visit it sooner rather than later. Explore the island on a three-day hike through lush mountains, or if you're able to, then take a helicopter ride over the island's live volcano, which is bound to get everyone's adrenaline pumping. Lastly, let's go hot air ballooning in the Serengeti. It may be hard to believe after hearing all of the previous activities, but a hot air balloon safari over the vast plains of the Serengeti is unlike any other experience in Africa. Guests arrive at dawn preparing to sail up high, and as the sun rises, the adventure begins. Each flight is unique as the wind takes its course, but no matter what, you're guaranteed to have the trip of a lifetime. The wildlife is abundant, and the scenery is just out of this world. Few things match up to a hot air balloon safari in Africa. The hot air balloon over the Serengeti brings us to the end of our adventure in Kenya. Let us know in the comments if you've ever been to Kenya before and see you next time on yet another adventure.